Forbidden Mysteries of Fairy Witchcraft by Storm Fairy Wolf. And it's divided into four parts with four appendix appendices, and nine chapters in total, so about three chapters per part. One part has an extra chapter in it. And you got after the like table of contents, you got a list an index list of the exercises, myths, rituals, spells, and journaling. So and it goes by chapter. So there's a few in each chapter. And so if you want to go back or like do like do some of the things over again, you have a list of them and what pages so you aren't flipping through the entire book saying where was that one ritual of this. <laughs> and Storm goes into saying this uh, this is a quote from like the introduction of the book. The book is intended for those of the intended for the intermediate to advanced craft practitioner. So and by looking at the book, yeah, it's not a beginner type book. It is a type of book that is set for those who have the basics already covered and you've done your own little research and it's just going into the information and like the rituals, the ritual explanations and stuff. It's more on the rituals and like myths and different things being explained. and. You do have a quote at the beginning of each chapter. There's a few images that Fairy Wolf has put to explain the different, a few different pieces of information. And there's a mix of information more taken over by like the rituals, the journaling, and like the divination. And it's the writing is more like even though Fairy Wolf has like we, us, I in it, it's more kind of a formal setup. It's not a total conversation talking, even though there's like the personal pronouns and a few sentences of personal information in there, though like that personal information connects to what information is being talked about. And like the in the appendices, you got additional info, a glossary slash wrap up, like merge of a few ideas that were placed in the book, and like it does go in. You kind of get the idea of what is going to be talked about just by the title alone, but you are going into topics like death, hell, and like the black stuff, like black magic if you want, but it's more focused on fairy, fairy craft, and it kind of pushes other forms of witchcraft aside, or like downplays them. That's just the sense that I got from reading it, like in other forms of witchcraft, these are downplayed or whatever, and does mentions of other witchcraft traditions and kind of like, in those traditions, this is downplayed or not mentioned, but in fairy craft, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so, like, in the where in a way, there is that bias of somebody who, like, Star Fairy Fairy Wolf has been in Fairycraft for years since, like, because uh, it was was it's mentioned that in like ninety two, Fairy uh, Fairy Wolf has had become like a high priest priestess. Um, like a high priest in 
like the fairy craft tradition and so fairy, fairy wolf has been doing this for a number of decades now and so has this point of view from the fairy craft tradition and there are some knowings of other traditions but the focus is on the fairy witchcraft and further and like this book is to further along a person's understanding and bring in other concepts as well and for the reader like the quote I shared earlier that it's for the intermediate to advanced practitioner of the craft that if you dive right in from like this book like yeah you might get a little lost on some of the concepts or what was being what is being talked about so like it's it's for those people who already started like read like started their own process starting to learn the craft like the fairy witchcraft and now wanting to go on to the next stage this is the book for those wanting on wanting to bring like this aspect of fairy witchcraft into their lives and so <laughs> you got a slight darker side slash mysterious kind of side to fairy witchcraft like again the title suggests forbidden mysteries of fairy witchcraft so you do have that for you if you want to add that kind of thing into into your practice because it's not doing the fluffy like cheerful bunnies hopping around kind of thing it is looking into a slightly darker side of the witchcraft fairy witchcraft but yeah it is something to look into if you want a fuller rounder version of that path so once again forbidden mysteries of fairy witchcraft by storm fairy wolf happy readings <laughs>